I'm Mary Watkins and I'm proud to be the president of the Florence Nightingale Foundation. As many of you know, this year we celebrate the 200th anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing. There have been a number of elements to the planned celebrations for this great anniversary. Many have inevitably been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. But ironically, it is the standards of nursing excellence and dedication that Florence introduced, which have played such a vital role worldwide. 2018 saw the launch of the International Nursing Now movement, an ambitious project embarked upon was to have been a garden at this year's Chelsea Flower Show, the Florence Nightingale Garden, which drew on information collated from the Florence Nightingale Museum. The garden has been generously sponsored by the Burdett Trust for Nursing and designed by Robert Myers, who is going to tell you about it in a moment. Of course, this year's show is not taking place, but we're delighted that we're able to carry the project forward to the 2021 Chelsea Flower Show. One of Florence's most significant achievements was to co-found Britain's District Nursing Service. Florence's friendship with Queen Victoria meant that as part of Victoria's Golden Jubilee celebrations in 1887, the Queen's Nursing Institute was founded. 40 years later, in 1927, the Queen's Nursing Institute founded the National Garden Scheme as a way to raise money to support district nurses. Ever since, the scheme has been quite remarkable, uniquely supporting nursing. Organising people to share their private gardens with visitors, it has raised and donated many millions of pounds for the Queen's Nursing Institute and other nursing charities such as Macmillan and everyone involved in the nursing profession regards it with great affection and gratitude. So it is a real privilege to be able to contribute to the National Garden Scheme's innovative Help Support the Nurses campaign with this introductory film about our Florence Nightingale Chelsea Garden, which Robert is now going to tell you about. If you'd asked me what I knew about Florence Nightingale a year or so ago, I could only tell you what I'd learned from Ladybird books as a child. That she was a nurse, famous for courageously leaving behind her privileged life in the English countryside to tend to British soldiers during the Crimean War. Recently though, I started delving deeper. Asked by the Burdett Trust for Nursing, a charity that supports nurses in their career development, to design a garden for the RHS Chelsea Flower Show marking the bicentenary of her birth, I set about discovering the person behind the famous Lady with the Lamp. What I found was not only a remarkable nurse and social reformer, but a woman with a love of botany, a passion for animals, and an understanding, well before her time, of the value of gardens and green spaces as therapeutic tools. Quite apart from being a celebrated social reformer though, Florence Nightingale was also a lover of the great outdoors and an avid collector of pressed flowers. And so, in the Florence Nightingale Garden at RXS Chelsea, I'm drawing not only on the Florence Nightingale of the history books, but also on the girl who loved the countryside and had a passion for flowers. Inspired by this, my design for the garden interlaces elements from all areas of her life. Flowers found in her childhood collection, including peonies and ferns, will feature alongside plants with medicinal properties which would have been used at the same time that Florence, the nurse, was using herbal treatments to look after the troops in Crimea. Her favourite flower, the Fox Club, will also be included, and images from her original pressed flower collection will be printed on the surrounding walls entwined with echoes of handwriting from her prolific collection of letters. Dominating the space, a timber pergola will evoke the pavilion hospital layouts advocated by Nightingale as a way of ensuring enough sunlight and fresh air for patients, while I've chosen other vibrant plants to emphasise the importance of gardens for health and recovery. As Nightingale herself said, I shall never forget the rapture of fever patients over a bunch of bright coloured flowers. I haven't designed this garden to be a pastiche of 19th century hospital gardens or a monument to Florence Nightingale. Instead, it is a celebration of modern day nursing as a highly skilled profession, Florence Nightingale's most enduring legacy, and a celebration of the restorative power of nature from the smallest pressed flower to the wide open countryside. Florence's emphasis on both these things remains as relevant today as ever. Like her, I believe firmly in the power of nature to heal. 
whether delivering a view of nature to a patient's bed or a place of relaxation away from the walls, green spaces are crucial for health and well-being. As she wrote in her landmark Notes on Nursing in 1859, people say the effect of plants and space is only on the mind. It is no such thing. The effect is on the body too.